Lights, camera, action! Hey everyone, Zelda here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, so if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will get notified to my upcoming videos. I saw this trending topic in YouTube world and I decided to create this topic because why not? I can relate. So this is my version. The title of this video is very obvious. No friend. It is very rare for me to open up in my YouTube channel because I am a very reserved type of person. But it's okay. I'm very ready. So here it is. So if you are interested to this kind of video or topic, then please keep on watching. Recently, I have no friend. What I mean is no close friend like a best friend, a bestie. Of course, I have friends in the Philippines, in South Korea, in the US. But recently here in Singapore, I don't have a close friend. I have acquaintance here, or in Tagalog, it's kakilala, but deep level, not at all. It's really hard for me to trust someone, especially here in this foreign land. So it's hard for me to find a true friend nowadays. I don't trust easily to someone, maybe because of my past experiences. I don't know, but it's really hard for me to really trust a person. It's just who I am. Just last year, February, my bestie, Leia Amor, shout out to you, my bestie, friend Leia Amor. She just left here in Singapore and she migrated to the United States of America. She's the only person here in abroad that I trust who I can lean on last time. Um, maybe because we are co-worker or colleagues before and we almost see each other every day so she got to know the real me I share and I open up myself to her and she knows about me so that's the reason why we're very close and of course we keep in touch but not really every day because we're busy um, I just realized that having no friends have pros and cons so now I'm gonna share you guys the reasons or my reasons why recently I don't have a close friend. Number one is I really enjoy my own company. I enjoy my me time. I can say that I am a highly independent person. Yeah, because we are OFW and I don't know to other OFW but for me my time here is very precious. Like I really budget my time. So I think that's the reason why it's hard for me to mingle everybody because i have a very full tight schedule so yeah i think that's one of the reason and i have a lot of activities like i really want my day is productive so as you notice in my youtube channel i recently very active in the gym i really want to incorporate exercise as much as possible in my routine or in my lifestyle Working out is part of my lifestyle and if I don't work out, I feel depressed, I feel um, unproductive, I feel um, down like that. So it's really part in my lifestyle since 2015, I became an active in exercise. I just started to become active before I come here in Singapore. So way back in there in the Philippines, I do home workouts and then I continue when I come here in Singapore. So. I think for almost how many years? 2015, 16, 17, 18. I think almost 8 years that I'm very active in workout. So, and I think I will continue this forever. For for lifetime. Yeah, because it really makes me happy. And of course, I'm a YouTuber. I'm an active influencer. I am an active YouTuber. So, I make sure that I really have a content on my YouTube channel. So, that's why on my free days, like my day off, Saturday and Sunday, I really want to make a video. I shoot, I edit, I do the makeup, I prepare all the things. My time is really limited. So yeah, that's it. That's one of the reasons that I have no close friend recently. The next reason, maybe I think I don't want to be close to someone because I dislike somebody will dictate my life. For example, my experiences before, like I'm with my acquaintances or kakilala lang, I'm so sick of it. Like they keep on telling me, why don't you transfer to another hospital? Why don't you move to another department? 
how about try to apply in another country like UK, USA, etc, etc. Oh my god, they keep on dictating me what is my choice in my life. And, you know, because I'm very kind. <coughs> kind? <laughs> like, I don't want to argue with them. I just keep quiet. But deep in my mind, hey girl, hey dude, this is my life. Come on, mind your own business, dude. I just want to express, guys. I'm so sorry, but this is really my feelings. Like, I really don't like It's my pet peeves. I'm so annoyed that somebody will dictate my life. Really. I have already a plan in my life. Don't bother to dictate my life, girl. Don't bother. Understand? <laughs> the third reason, I think that's why I don't have any close friend lately. Because recently, I don't like party. Party, party. Like going to the club. Now, I'm in my 30s, guys. I really dislike going to a noise place. Before, when I was in my 20s, I used to go to the club. But not really always. Like maybe twice a year. But I'm done with it. Of course, I like music. I enjoy listening to music. I enjoy dancing. But recently, I'm now in my 30s. Um, I just don't like going to the club anymore. Maybe once in a while, but no. Because I have a goal in my life. That's why I don't have any interest now lately going to the club. Like, for example, I have Kakilala here in Singapore that invited me. Hey, let's go to Marky. Marky is very famous club here, but no, no, no. I just say no because I think it's a waste of my time to go there. Next, number four. I think the reason why I don't have any close friend lately because maybe in my mother tongue, which is Bisaya, because I am a Bisaya girl. Um, I'm from Visayas region in the Philippines. I'm not from Luzon. And I think that's the reason also maybe it's hard for me to find because here in Singapore, a lot of my acquaintances are Tagalog and it's hard for me to express um, Tagalog. If I speak English to them, for me, it's uncomfortable. So, yeah, it's hard because, you know, Bisaya is really nice to speak. Bisaya, kay, Bisaya, gugong dako. Lamit kay istorya ba? Munang lisud ka ayo, sorry. I speak Bisaya. It's really hard for me to have a conversation with Tagalog because maybe sometimes they misunderstood the way I talk. What I mean is that like for example in my previous experiences before like um, maybe for them it's a joke but for us we take it seriously and, and vice versa for us it's just a joke but for them they take it seriously. So it's like there's a clash. I don't know but it's reality that there's some clashes between Tagalog and Visaya. So I think that's one of the reasons why it's hard for me to find a close friend in a deep level because of my mother tongue, which is Bisaya. Okay, let's move on to the next reason. Okay, one of the reasons why it's hard for me to find a close friend because I want to associate with the same mindset as me. I want to mingle with like-minded person, like the same wavelength with me. Yeah. Okay, what do you mean by that? Because I am a very driven person, I have a goal in life. To my previous friends before, I'm very different nowadays. I want to associate, I want to talk to people which is a goal-driven person, a motivated person that talks about ideas, talks about dreams, reaching the goals. In life I have this entrepreneur mindset and this kind of path that I want to choose is so hard and it's so hard also to find a person which has the same mindset of me so yeah that's why it's hard for me to find a close friend okay next reason is I'm a goal oriented goal pursuer dream pursuer type of person I have a big dream but sad to say some people misunderstood it or misunderstand it. It never ends. It's reality guys. So I just want to insert a quote. This is one of my favorite quotes. I 
in my case, I can't randomly open up my dream to someone, to, to anybody. Even my family, I can't. Because nobody will support me. It's very hard to find a person who will support your dream. So, I just support myself. Especially in my situation that I am an active YouTuber. And I experience as some haters, bashers, backlash in real life. Yeah, and it's super hard for me to trust somebody. The path that I chose is so difficult. And yeah, people will laugh at me. I experienced before that they asked me, Hey, why don't you transfer to USA like that? And then I just told them, ah, I just want to be a celebrity. And then they laugh at me. So, yeah, it's so hard in my environment nowadays to find who will support me. For me, I'm not common. I became extraordinary or how to say that I'm not average anymore because maybe because of my experiences before. And they cannot understand about it. So that's why it's hard for me to find really a real person who will support me. So it's okay. I'll just support myself. Okay guys, so that's it. I think that's all my reasons why it's hard for me to find a friend these days. I just want to express. I just really want to express guys because uh, I'm so tired. I'm sick and tired. Okay guys, so if you like this kind of video, feel free to comment down below. And if you can relate to my situation, feel free to comment down below. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Do subscribe into my channel if you're new here. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you will get notified to my upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace. <laughs>